Hello once again everyone and welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs and today we will be doing a basketball card giveaway but that will be at the end of the video with a little bit of trivia but before we get there we have some new residents of the wrestling room some new pickups to add to the collection and uh, if you saw our tour of the wrestling room it seems like I might not have a whole lot more room in here for anything new but uh we managed somehow so here's a look at our first one this is a Hasbro and here we have Hulk Hogan of course and this is I wanna say his first edition Hasbro I might be incorrect on that uh, but this was a pickup at the local flea market uh, as you can see it's not in perfect shape and uh, the action still works but you can hear it's like a little extra snap in there uh, again this is one that I had as a kid you can see the back it's like again you know not in perfect condition a little bit of scuff scuffiness to it but uh, not bad overall uh, a good add to the collection so I'm now out up to God, 20 Hasbros or so um, so getting a good amount in there uh, again this was a pickup at the local indoor flea market I got this uh, when I picked up the box of 92 Ultra baseball that we opened up recently so good ad there for me the next editions these are the first of these kind to inhabit my collection here's a look at the first one this is the ruthless aggression collection and here we have Eric Bischoff uh, local record store chain if you want to call it that they sell video games uh, CDs if anybody buys those anymore uh, DVDs books lots of stuff like that um, one by my work has started picking up vintage toys so uh, I've been seeing some of these in there and I finally decided to uh, crack into my first one so again here's the Eric Bischoff this one I'm not uh, too sure what series number this is doesn't say on the back and uh, to be honest I didn't really do much research before I grabbed it uh, but it was only six bucks so pretty good ad there you can see on the top here the rest of uh, the guys in his line you got Cena, Orton, Rey Mysterio, Chavo Guerrero and Brock Lesnar this is my first Bischoff a lot of people uh, don't really care for him but I was uh, definitely a WCW fan for a couple of years there in the late 90s um, and I did watch some of the uh, really bad editions of WCW once they started going downhill before I finally tuned out for good uh, from World Championship Wrestling next up we have another Ruthless Aggression this is Series 10 Rey Mysterio this is uh, my first Rey Mysterio figure again I think this one was seven dollars so not bad I actually picked this up before I grabbed uh, the Bischoff. This I grabbed this the first time I went in there, and I've gone back since and picked up two more. The other one we will uh, take a look at to end our video. Uh, here you can see the rest of the superstars in Mysterio series. There you got General Manager Kurt Angle, Jericho, Ultimo Dragon, uh, Chris Benoit, and then Edge in uh, uh, Edge design t-shirt that I don't really remember that well a little advertisement for the Illumination Chamber set there and the stunt action ring and again I'm not sure what um, you know if this is from a specific match or not but my first Rey Mysterio figure and uh, I kinda wanna get you know at least like one of a lot of the guys that I uh, have been a fan of at one point in my life and this title here I am not sure. I think that's the w, old WWE Championship. It's kind of hard to tell because it, uh, Jax did not paint their championships at that point. If you remember uh, the classic Superstars line, the titles look exactly the same as these. Uh, so it's got the title design, but there's no like paint in there or anything like that. So it's kind of hard to uh, distinguish one from the other. And then our final figure before we get into the basketball card giveaway 
we have Ken Kennedy or Mr. Kennedy, Series 19, Ruthless Aggression. Uh, I was a big Mr. Kennedy fan back in the day, and uh, he kind of got a raw deal in his WWE run. You know, he won the uh, Money in the Bank ladder match in 2007, but then got injured and uh, lost the briefcase to Edge. And of course, some people might remember he was supposed to be um, the reveal uh, for Mr. McMahon's um, son that ended up being Hornswoggle, but again, Kennedy, I believe he got injured at that point, so uh, they had to make a change there. Um, and then he would uh, eventually get released after an uh, infamous match in, I want to say 2009? 2010? I can't remember what year it was. It was around that time frame. Um, but it was a match where the superstars were wearing basketball jerseys. Something that happened where they had like Raw moved because of a basketball game. So they were playing off of that in this like tag team main event. And uh, I think Kennedy had like just returned from another injury. But eventually, he uh, in the match, he ended up giving a back suplex to Randy Orton. And uh, Orton kind of took a bad bump, I guess, and flipped out at Kennedy. And eventually, basically, it led to his release. Um, so he didn't really have the WWE career people expected. But regardless, again, I was a Kennedy fan. Had one of his shirts back in the day. And here you can see him with the blue gear. And I showed the back already, but didn't discuss it. Here's the rest of his series. Series 19, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio again. Seems like Rey Mysterio was in every series. Kurt Angle, Rob Conway. People don't remember Rob Conway. And then another Chris Benoit. Uh, the advertisement for the Adrenaline series. Edge and Matt Hardy there. Looks like a, basically a rival series is what that looks like. Psychosis, Super Crazy, and Angle and Cena. So, some pretty cool ads to my collection. Again, these are my first... Ruthless Aggression figures, so pretty happy with those, and they were all for a pretty good price. And uh, actually, I paid more for that Hogan Hasbro than I paid for any of these Ruthless Aggression figures, so um, definitely uh, a cool spot to check out if you live in uh, my neck of the woods, Bull Moose, for your vintage toys, at least until August when uh, the owner of, or previous owner of this Hulk Hogan Hasbro at the Southern Maine Indoor Flea Market, where I've been getting a lot of my vintage toys from, is going to be opening up uh, his own store not too far down the road from me, so um, <laughs> that could be trouble, folks. But anyways, on to our basketball card giveaway. We are going to do a trivia question, and it's going to be wrestling related, which I don't think that really matters that we're doing a wrestling question and uh, giving away basketball cards, because obviously everyone's just going to kind of Google the answer anyhow, so no problem with that. So um, the giveaway today, it's uh, pretty discreet. So I am selling these on eBay. This is a 75 card basketball, I guess, mystery grab bag. Um, and inside each one of these there are 20 common cards but then everything else so that's 55 other cards are all uh, like Jordan, Kobe, Rookies, um, possibly a Relic, uh, Shaq, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Giannis, um, I know one of them's got a Trey Young rookie card, uh, just tons and tons of stars, Hall of Famers, Rookies, um, there are some like also higher end commons like Topps Finest, Panini Prism, things like that. Uh, I'm selling these on eBay for 12 bucks a piece. That includes shipping right now. So I'm not going to show you what's in here because the winner of the trivia question will just receive a randomized one. Um, so there's no point in me showing what's in this one and making people think that's what they're going to get because uh, you might get this exact one, probably not. You might get uh, something, uh, you know, one that has better things in it than this. Uh, so who knows? So what we'll do, uh, if you want, um, I guess, more details on what can be found in these, I'm going to put a link to uh, 
the eBay listing down below and you can kind of check out pictures of examples uh, of what comes in these grab bags. So, on to the question itself. It has to do with this gentleman right here, Ken Kennedy. Like I said, he won the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 23 before Kennedy went up the ladder and grabbed the briefcase who was the last superstar to climb the ladder so who was the last guy to climb the ladder before Kennedy went up and grabbed the briefcase so comment below with your answer and the winner basically we're gonna pick uh, everybody that had the correct answer which is gonna be most likely a lot of people um, and we're just going to randomly choose one of those correct comments using a uh, random comment picker essentially uh, if it picks somebody that had a wrong answer I'll do it again until it picks somebody that had the correct answer uh, here is the one caveat this time around though the last giveaway we did um, I didn't really put any limits on it because the process at the post office is just such a pain right now uh, this giveaway is going to be limited to US only. That's a one-time deal, you know, it's not going to be this way for all giveaways. Just this time only is going to be US only giveaway. So please, um, I guess you can play along if you are not from uh, the US, but if you are chosen, or if your comment is selected, um, I'll have to go with somebody else, unfortunately. Um, so, US only, again, who was the last superstar to climb the ladder in the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 23 before Kennedy went up and grabbed the briefcase? So, again, comment below with your answer, and uh, I will get to the winner in the comments as I did for the last giveaway to uh, get all your information and all of that good stuff. So, uh, that's going to be a 24-hour giveaway so winner will be selected by 6 p.m tomorrow that's 6 p.m eastern standard time here in the u.s i live in new england so that's what we're rolling with for the time so uh, if you like this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and we will see you next time on headlocks and hot packs